Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. This is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. So this is a live stream of me making my podcast. So I am currently streaming it on Facebook and also on Instagram. Now I have streamed on Instagram before a couple of times. It's a while, blimey, years ago I think. Um, and I've been streaming recently on Facebook. So I'd like to say you know thank you, welcome to anyone that's joined me. I'm not able to necessarily kind of talk to anyone because I'm going to be doing this relaxation session. So welcome. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go through the, I'm going to do like a body scan, I think that'd be quite nice, and I'm not sure if I said it because I'm a little bit, I feel it's a bit weird being recorded from two different cameras and podcast, it's like it turned into a recording studio here, but um, only listen when you can safely close your eyes, okay? So... I'll probably have my <laughs> eyes closed most of the time. So, um, generally, that's how I make recordings. So, it's not because I'm scared of looking into the camera. Well, I don't really want to see my face. But uh, it's more... Well, I'm also... Relaxing. I'm also... Gonna let go of any stress and tension in my body. At the same time as you doing it. And if you're watching on a video, you're streaming or watching it back, you know, you saw this microphone here. This is what I'm recording the podcast with but there's no ca there's no microphones connected to the live broadcast it's just the iPhone is recording the Instagram stream and the Android tablet is streaming the Facebook so hopefully you can hear maybe Ben or Belinda who's what lists who's watching on Facebook, maybe you can let me know that you can hear me okay, um, and that the the sound isn't mute or anything like that. Hopefully not, but um, the picture is better on the iPhone than on the, the tablet. But you know, there you go. <laughs> um, so I'm, if you can let me know, that'd be good. But I'm gonna get on with it. So I'd like to say thank you again also to all the listeners of my podcasts, this podcast and the Let Me Bore You to Sleep, the Deep Sleep Whisper, um, uh, the various other ones that I do for helping me to grow the podcasts. Um, the last 30 days I've had nearly 300,000 downloads. So it's it's going really good and it's it's down to you for listening. So thank you everyone so no one's replied on Facebook so I'm guessing maybe you can't hear me asking <laughs> I'll find out afterwards so what I'm going to ask you to do to start with is to close your eyes I think it's quite a good start because when you close your eyes you you're getting rid of the visual side of things so that's one of your senses is almost like just turned off instantly and you're not talking so you're not that's another thing that you're not, you're not 
use in your mouth or your voice, which is something that we perhaps use a lot of. You're sitting down, so you're not using your legs. Um, technically, you don't really need to use any part of your body. All the things that you need to happen will happen automatically. Like your blood flow and your heart and your, and your lungs and your kidneys and your liver and your pancreas and, you know, the nervous system, the, all that stuff, your brain, that's just automatic. We're quite lucky, really, that we don't have to think about those things because it's just happening. Now, there's always a chance that there may be some background sounds and I can edit them out in the podcast. Can't edit them out in the video uh, when it's a live stream. Um, And also to let you know that the voice quality, the sound quality will be a lot better in the actual podcast. So in just in in case you want to listen back because of the microphone and the system I've got over there recording this. So, I know there are ways of setting up a live stream using the microphone and, you know, I just haven't figured out quite how to do it yet, but I'm looking into it. I just don't want to have too many microphones and wires and screens and cameras and stuff, you know. So, so I ask you to close your eyes. And just get in touch with how your eyes feel. So I've got the light on above me. I can see the light through my eyelids. And I don't think it's because I've got extra thin eyelids. Just imagine that kind of standard thickness. But it's okay. It's not bright. It's just... In fact, if I raise my eyebrows, the brightness going through my eyelids becomes brighter. So I guess the top of the eyelid further up is thinner than, you know, the rest of it. But something happens, I find, that when I close my eyes, I become more aware of how I physically feel more aware to start with how my face feels starting with my eyelids but then noticing the skin around my eyelids uh, my forehead and I'm realising that I've got some tension in the top of my head that I didn't notice before it's not like a headache but it's more I can feel that it's a bit tense. And although I'm not going to search my body for tension or stress, because uh, one of the problems with that is when you start searching for something, you're focusing on that. And when you start focusing on something, your body almost seems to want to give you more of it and that's the opposite to what we're doing here this is more about focusing on feeling relaxed feeling calm so when you focus on the parts of your body that feel relaxed you start to search for other parts that also feel relaxed and And your body almost wants to give you more of that comfort. It's it's, it's, it's a very similar thing to, you know, when you're a kid and you're in the back of a car and you decide to play, like, uh, let's just uh, count how many yellow cars we're going to see on the motorway. And before you realise it, all you seem to be seeing is yellow cars there's no more yellow cars than there was before it's just that's what your 
notice them because that's what you're focusing on. And it's a little bit like that, you know, when you start focusing on how you're feeling. So it's not about ignoring the negativity. It's not about ignoring the stresses and the strains and the tension and uh, any kind of physical discomfort. It's about observing it. It's about accepting it in this moment. So my lower back is feeling a bit, a bit, not hugely painful, but a little bit painful. I've got an issue with my back and I've been putting furniture together today. So, you know, it hurts a little bit. It's aching. Now, I'm not going to ignore that it's aching. But at the same time, I'm not going to dwell on it and make a big deal about it. So, you know, I'm going to the doctors tomorrow to actually uh, seek some kind of treatment for my lower back. But in this moment, I don't need to worry about it. It's just there. And I can just let it go. It's not important at the moment. And it's that kind of mindset that I'm aiming to encourage in all of my recordings to give yourself permission to let go to just let go of everything for the duration of the recording for the duration of you lying on your bed or sitting in a chair feeling comfortable feeling relaxed noticing that sense of comfort increasing throughout your body and that's something that you can enjoy you could also enjoy the music downstairs maybe my talking has been too loud and now he's blocking it out with his music you might be able to hear it, you might not. But you know, in the old days when I was younger, that used to, it used to just bug me. But now, it's just sound. I changed the word from noise to sound. So I didn't, you know, noise is such a, it's, it's not a positive word, is it? You know, but sound, it's very neutral. Very just, uh, I'm going to say the if you, you don't use the word noise in a positive way. You know, what do you like to listen to? Oh, I love listening to the noise of the of the wind, the noise of birds singing, or the the noise of the ocean. No, it's the sound. It's almost like a neutral, light way to express the same meaning. But it doesn't have any kind of negative connotations or emotions connected to it, which is quite good. I'm going to start dancing in a minute. <laughs> so, you can notice how you're breathing, but we're not going to try to control our breath because I, I never really do that simply because um, you're going to breathe anyway the breathing happens naturally doesn't need really any attention in this moment doesn't really need much in the way of doing anything you can just, it's there and the more time you spend just sitting, just feeling calm and winding down, the easier your breathing becomes. 
although it's already fairly easy anyway, but it just seems to become smoother and lighter. Just in the same way as the muscles in your body just seem to relax of their own accord, even though we've not focused yet on any really particular parts of your body. We've, you know, we've touched on focusing on your eyes and your jaw. I mentioned my, f- my forehead and then I mentioned the top of my head, which is now feeling a lot more relaxed. In fact, it almost feels I've got the air. It almost feels I've got cool air blowing on my face. Now, the window's not open. There's there's no movement in the, in this room. But I've got this sense of cold and cool air gently blowing on my face. And I almost feel like it's blowing on my scalp. But right now, I feel like I've got no hair. I know what it feels like. I shave my head hundreds of times. For some reason, I've let it grow a little bit. But I feel it might just be my ball patch that I'm feeling it on at the back. But I also feel it there on top. like a soothing feeling it's almost that I requested that by noticing that the top of my head was feeling a little bit tense and just by noticing I've alerted my unconscious mind to just go in there and do its job, do its business. I didn't even have to ask because our bodies, our minds, our brains, it's all like one thing. It all wants to, it wants to feel good. It's not about feeling wonderful for no reason. It's just about that equilibrium, that general sense of well-being that comes when you reduce your stress levels, when you reduce the tension, when you reduce negativity out of your life and out of your mind. And when you listen to me, there's a few things can happen. You can get really bored. I am the king of boring people. You can get, it's really hard to keep my eyes open when I talk, because I bore myself. I do, I bore my, honestly, the amount of times I've sent myself to sleep. It's lucky I'm not a driver, really. And there's something there that you just, your mind wants you to feel relaxed. And when you listen, your mind starts to slow down. It just naturally starts to slow down because the stimulus that was there before is just not there anymore. Because when you're in this zone, The past starts to disappear, the future, you know, the things, your plans, what you want to do in the future, that starts to disappear, just for the time being, just while you're relaxing. So all you have is now, and that now is changing as we move through time. So even any thoughts to it in your mind 
couple of minutes ago almost can't stay in your mind anymore because the time is moving and that time moving through your mind seems to be almost like a sweep sweeping away a brush or a vacuum cleaner or a mop just cleaning away those old outdated thoughts that may no longer be necessary or useful to you. And the good thing about being able to relax is you don't have to be unconscious or asleep. You can choose to drift to sleep. But sometimes it's just nice to to really let go and enjoy feeling relaxed and peaceful for no other reason other than it's just nice it's pleasant it feels nice to relax it's something it's just something really Uh, a wonderful thing for you to give yourself some space some time to just let go to unwind to no longer be clinging on to anything at all Everything just seems to move so much slower, so much slower. And the slower things seem to be. the more comfort you can feel. It may start to feel as if there's really nothing going on. just nothing happening and it feels it can feel quite liberating just being in the moment not actually doing anything trying to be something not trying to hold on to something not trying to move away from anything you're just being you in this moment just enjoying feeling calm and loose peaceful because of course we could focus on the different parts of your body yet your mind seems to know that it's time for the muscles in your body to relax and you may even notice that your mind is not 
only slow down though you may become aware that your mind starts to drift your mind starts to drift it's almost like being in a daydream that then you come out of it and you become aware again of listening to me and you might be trying to focus on the words that I'm saying and you may really really you know put the effort into to focus and to listen to the words but for some reason your mind continues to drift again into some kind of a daydream and then you come back again and and it happens again and again and each time you drift you're away in that dream like state for longer each time and every time you come back and you're more aware of your surroundings and you realize that you're becoming not just more relaxed in every part of your body but also that you're feeling more tired every time you daydream you come back and become slightly less aware of your surroundings slightly less aware of the words that I'm saying and maybe you just feel that you just want to go back into that dream state you want to drift Just in your mind, but all through your body, peaceful and calm, peaceful and loose, so
dissolve completely. to do that, but if in the other hand you just want to feel even more relaxed and continue with that relaxation journey, as I count from one to three, you'll become twice as relaxed with each number, it's your choice. 